Hey y'all, it's Becca. I'm a math, physics, and astronomy tutor here at TEG. If you ever need such a tutor, feel free to hit me up on my profile, which is linked below. But today I'm going to talk to y'all about conductivity. Now, conductivity is a um, way that we measure the likelihood of having current flow through a material. It's a concept that you've probably heard of if you're in uh, physics 2, if you're in a material science course or if you're taking, ele taking electricity and magnetism or something like that. Um, conductivity is associated with um, circuits and electric current and things like that. So uh, conceptually and mathematically it is the opposite of resistivity which is the ability of a material to resist current flowing through it. So conductivity is the opposite of that. Um, it's the ability of a material to allow current to flow through it. So um, Conductivity is given as the Greek letter lowercase sigma, um, which I draw like that. <laughs> um, and resistivity is given by the Greek letter rho, which I draw like that. So if you would like to find the conductivity of a material, you would simply take the reciprocal or the opposite of the resistivity. So how do we do that if we have this slab of material right here? that has an internal resistance of 2 ohms, a length of 20 centimeters here, and a width of um, 10 centimeters right here. Now you may recall, if you've ever um, had to calculate resistivity before or resistance from resistivity, that resistivity is equal to the internal resistance times the cross-sectional area, which is this square right here in this material, divided by the length of material we're considering right here. So from resistivity, we can find conductivity. So let's say we want to find the conductivity of this material right here. Well, we have the internal resistance, with, which is um, 2 ohms. And we have length and we have width of these um, sides of the square here. Um, but we know that in SI units, our um, resistance units should be ohms, and that's fine. That's what we have. But our distance units should be in meters. So 20 centimeters is 2 tenths of a meter or 0 0.2 meters. And likewise width 10 centimeters is 1 tenth or 0.1 meters. Okay. So since we know that this is a square, the width and the width are the side lengths of a square, we can find the cross-sectional area. as being um, 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, or area of a square, 0 0.1 squared. And 1 10 squared is just 1 100th, so we have 0 0.01 square meters. Okay, now we have everything that we need to find the resistivity of this material. So resistivity is equal to the internal resistance, which we have 2 ohms times the area, we have 0 0.01 meters squared. And divided by the length, we have 0 0.2 meters. All right, so dimensionally, we see that we have meters squared on top and meters on the bottom. So one of those meters is going to cancel out. And our final unit, of resistivity is going to be ohms times meters or ohm meters. Okay. And 2, points, two times 0 0.01 is 0 0.02. 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.2 is simply 0 0.1 or 1 tenth ohm meters. But our final answer is not resistivity, but it is conductivity. So now that we have the resistivity, we can plug this into our conductivity equation. And we know that conductivity sigma is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.1 ohm meters. And 1 divided by a tenth is simply 10. And we can write that in inverse ohm meters. Okay? So this is how to find the conductivity of a material, which again is the likelihood of current to flow through the material, the opposite of resistivity. Hope this helps you all out. 
If you need any um, assistance with your e &M problems, feel free to hit me up or any other physics tutor here on Chug. Okay? Bye, guys.